I am now going to talk about the graphic system. Well, the graphic system is a is a system where uh, we we basically intend to generate images uh, images uh, uh, using some devices uh, like the input device, and uh, we are going to draw the images on the screen or on a plotter or a printer okay we print images and we get the output the output device now a graphic system is uh, consisting of uh, parts the parts of the graphic system are, are are like the input devices the central processing unit the graphics processing graphical processing unit and the frame buffer uh, the frame buffer is nothing but uh, in a memory which is storing the pixels that are to be drawn on the screen okay? so the frame buffer is a part of memory in the system it's it's in the graphics processing in the gpu gpu memory we call it and uh, and the, the olden days when uh, the video ram or the frame buffer was uh, in the uh, in the uh, CPU itself, so uh, we did not have any graphics processing unit as such, and any graphics processing had to happen within the CPU. Now the systems have evolved, and you have a graphics processor attached to the CPU. Okay, this is going to generate uh, some uh, images, uh, whatever you want to draw faster. Okay, GPUs are faster than CPUs in generating images. So these GPUs, uh, they they have uh, processing units which uh, which uh, process uh, uh, <coughs> and scan convert uh, the the primitives and they just draw those on this frame buffer and they they just. Uh, color the frame buffer or say populate the frame buffer with the colors and this frame buffer is ultimately going to be displayed on the screen okay now uh, what is scan conversion basically the gpu is uh, the gpu cpu anything it this scan conversion is basically a technique of of generating a geometry object by tracing its uh, shape like for example if i want to draw a line i am basically going to scan convert a line scan convert a line and i am going to populate the pixel values in the frame buffer okay now how do i scan convert a line i know the equation of a line i know which points are lying on the line okay so I just have to glow those corresponding pixels on the screen. That is the task at hand. We know how we can glow pixels on the screen using some APIs. These APIs are provided by the graphics system or the graphics package. So the graphics package is a, a, a set of APIs that are provided by the by the system which uh, allows us to interact with the system hardware okay it's a layer of abstraction which sits between the processor and the hardware so this library usually we, we used to use the graphics.h library and uh, we used to program in C, C++ and uh, uh, other languages uh, uh, like uh, Java now the graphics processor is evolved to such a stage that it is using uh, uh, a array of processing elements and these processing elements are all executing the same programs same program parallelly okay so they are working on parts of the screen they are not generating the entire screen by by processing the data you know 
you know sequential manner they are doing it parallelly and some parts of the screen are being generated by some processing elements a group of processing elements uh, are involved in uh, generating a image on the screen now uh, i would like to talk about input devices like the mouse like the scanner like the keyboard and maybe a, a pen input device which will be which will be a stylus which will which we use to draw things on a surface or it could be also a 3d input device which can be a in the form of a uh, glove which you wear or it can be something else like a motion detection system which uh, takes in all points on a object or a human form some things like that okay now 